morning, everybody. It's, uh, it's a little chilly this morning. It's not cold, but it's, it's chilly. And I think it's because it's, it rained all weekend long and it's supposed to rain in the next two days. It's just wet. And I think that's why I feel so cold. But at any rate, let's get to work. What we got going on today is I'm going to change all the nozzle tips on the sprayer. I've got 80 of these bad boys. They come 10 in a pack, so I've got 8 packs. And every one of them have to be changed on the sprayer. Um, so I'm going to take some time today and uh, get those changed out while it's raining. That way, when we are ready to start spraying, then or when Mother Nature allows us to start spraying, we can run full bore. Because I think once all this dries up from this spat of rain coming through, I think we're going to start hitting the fields pretty hard and get some planting going. <sighs> up the ladder we go. Um, these old nozzles are junk. They've been on there for a while. We've got several thousand acres and hundreds of thousands of gallons run through them so it's time to change them i'm gonna pull them off and just throw them right in the garbage garbage so i'm just gonna wheel the garbage can around with me and as i'm pulling them off chuck them in put the new ones on we'll move the ladder down right on around or down the machine around the back and up the other side so it's kind of kind of boring but i'll show you exactly what i'm doing all right, um, I got you guys on a magnet mountain. You, you know the drill. But anyway, all you do is twist these off and you gotta yank on them. Woo. And then you just take the old one, chuck it in the garbage, and the new one. It comes with the new, uh, a new screen and the new tip. And that just goes in just like this and you turn it done i have to do that 79 more times so like i said it's quick kind of boring but it needs to be done in other words i'm not going to bore you on this one but just so you know this video right here is going to be the first video that I edit in my new office slash studio. I'll show you pictures of the studio or film a little bit of it at the end of this video so you can kind of see it. All right, uh, I need to get to work. Well, it's done. Check it out. Did they all look good to you? Thought so. Um, so now that this project's done, I think what I'm gonna do, I have the little tractor back here. I could actually load some seed now in the seed wagon because I've been wanting to do that for the last few days. And I've been busy doing other things. Um, it's not a rush or necessity to load the seed wagon at this particular time. I just want to get it done before we start working fields and then I have to take time out of my day to load the seed wagon because it takes a little bit of time to do that. Um, so if I could load it now when I'm slow working, then that's, you know, an hour I'm saving later down the road. Does that make sense? It's an hour... I don't have to pull out of the fields to come do this when I can continue working in the fields for another hour, hour and a half, knowing that this is already done. Right? You know what I mean. I'll show you how we're putting seed in the trailer. Oh, hang on a minute. You guys are dirty. There, is that a little better? Anyway, this is how we put load the seed wagon. 
I'll take you up there and show you. I put one in already. But what you do is you gotta unlock that by breaking the zip strip and then you just pull it. That easy. That's what uh, 12,000 pounds of seed looks like in the seed wagon. We'll go up there and look at it. It's full. So what I'll do is two of these mini bulks that went in here will fill the planters. So when I'm ready to fill the planters, I'll pull the two out of here, fill the planters, I'll add two more to this, and then we can go to town planting. Everything's full then and ready to go. Look it. There's that, that bright thing in the sky. It's behind a cloud, but it's coming. Beautiful. Last task of the day done. Taking the garbage out. Tomorrow's garbage day. It's garbage day at home too. I might have to do that when I get home. All right, I'm gonna head home. I'll give you guys a little look at the new studio slash office and I'll edit this video. Wife made me this sign for the door. So as you can see, desk, shelf, camera, charging stations. Um, over here we have all our heat presses and everything and this is where we make the microfiber cloths and shop rags and headbands things like that so it's not a huge space but it's big enough for us right now and this is where we're going to be doing all the editing of videos and things like that all right we'll talk to you guys later